previously on Amori. Hey, oh, it's your boy. Go to the door, stupid. Hot dog. And now back to... Waiting for something to happen. Hello! Sneaky B, back with some more Mori. When we last left off, <laughs> Humphrey went fucking ape shit. Yeah, I should have listened to that damn tree from earlier when he said this. This whale crazy! I just didn't know if he meant the, the, the slime witches or the whale. Turns out he meant both. Guys, anyone in this world not crazy aside from Simon from the five of us? But it was interesting. It was, uh, uh I think I, I enjoyed that section overall more than like Sweetheart's Castle. I think the, the slime girls itself, I didn't find maybe necessarily like incredibly fascinating. Only because so far, I, right now, I don't see a really uh, important or significant reason how they tie into the actual main story. Um, what made Humphrey interesting was that, again, he was brought up in the lore, so that, I actually found him going crazy and, like, going after us was like, oh, shit, this is, this is nuts. This is, this is pretty cool, actually. And actually, that, just that whole section of him continuously, like, eating us and, like, his various mouths and then us bursting out of all of them was pretty neat. I think the thing I'm sort of realizing with this game is that the sections that really do sort of uh, tend to grab me the most are the ones that seem to involve more than just this world, that this headspace that we're in, right? And I think, I mean, I haven't seen the whole thing, right? There, there's a very distinct possibility that later on we're going to be like, oh, Sweetheart is based off somebody else, or there is some really deep lore with her character, or some deep lore with the, the, the slime girls, the scientists or something. I mean, we did... We did see some stuff in there. I mean, I don't know if maybe the cat, the yellow cat, was supposed to be, like, representing the giant yellow cat that was in uh, my guy's room, Amori's room. I don't know. It's kind of hard to tell. And then we got that indication there at the end. But otherwise, I mean, their characters, I haven't really seen, like, what their, like, greater purpose into this narrative is. And I don't know how much of this game is maybe, I mean, designed to be, like, we're just some kids going on some goofy adventures in my headspace. So all these things that are happening tend to be relatively random. I hope it isn't that way. I really do. Because I, I genuinely think that having all of these things be based off of something or having some like or origin point makes them 10 times more interesting than just being like, decide to make a Ford out of cardboard or, and then go into this random dungeon I made up that has nothing to do with anything. And yeah, I mean, and while that is true, that is something as kids that we would have done in a narrative standpoint, it's just not as interesting. And least that feeling of aimlessness, like I said. But I did like some of the puzzles in there. I know you guys point out how, uh, God damn it. Some people were like, Nico, why did it take you so fucking long to figure out that puzzle? Shut up. All right, fuck you. High size 2020, bitch. I genuinely did not think that one was like that obvious. That the, the supposed easy one, I get it. I get like afterwards, oh yeah, and then it clicks. But like the first part was like, until I saw the the other ones and realized, yes, the, the answer to the puzzle is in this little area somewhere, right? Uh, I didn't think it was immensely obvious, but I guess you guys are just like 300 levels above me. <laughs> you motherfuckers. Honestly, I think I probably would have switched the places of the medium and the easy one. Actually, I think, I think the easy one was what should have been the medium and the medium should have been the easy one. Also, something else I realized when I was editing, and of course you guys pointed out, it was I, I kept thinking that I was getting hit by some attack that I wasn't seeing because it was happening. Like, I kind of blazed through some of these fights, right? Um, I thought the, the mimic did some attack to me that knocked my HP down to one, but it was actually it was actually the explosions and all the the constant uh, auto deaths that I got from failing one of the puzzles or getting destroyed by the bomb that knocked my HP down to one. <laughs> I, I kind of thought when it was doing that, it was basically just like a game over, but then it reset me back. But it, no, it, it, I mean, it does. I mean, it is, but it also kept my HP at one. I, I don't know exactly why it didn't occur to me just because I, this has actually happened before, right? But I just, it didn't really click with me. That that's where, that's where my HP was going until I saw it in, in when I was editing. But as a result, I ended up getting to like, like a couple of random counters near the start where I had like one HP and I didn't notice. Whoops. But along those same lines, uh, last episode, Cyrus K said, Nico dies to monster cat. Spelling B. You've still got a ways to go. <laughs> this one, this one really got me. It was goddamn this stupid spelling bee. Which, by the way, you guys also point out. Apparently, that spelling bee was part of the what the fuck value. 
So that actually would not have been there normally if my what the fuck value had been lower. So, oh, those cheeky assholes. I'm not gonna lie, it was, it was pretty fucking funny. I mean, super trolly. And I think in the moment I was a little bit pissed by it, but I mean, it doesn't really reset you that far back. It's still pretty hilarious. Just because I've already talked to that dumb B and I, every time I do it, I, I fucking regret it. So then just have him like sit there and talk to me while the cat's floating above my head, ready to murder me the moment I'm finished. It's pretty funny. Basiris, thank you so much for your <laughs> hilarious. Basiris, thank you so much for your hilarious comment. And it's for that reason you are our comment of the day. So, okay. We have uh, seemingly completed all of the areas. And now we're clearly heading into to end game here, right? Uh, we've also gotten all the letters. Behold, welcome to black space. Now I do have, I think three letters, right? Uh, that I've yet to get. Yep. So apparently these three letters, like I shouldn't even bother trying to get them right now because I can't actually get until after this next part. So, um, I have been also told that right now it's really just like, there's not really too much left that I can, I can do though. I did, I did get recommendation, recommendation check one little area. Uh, oh, except also, yeah, the weeping willow. I do have. I did get one more joke that she's yet to see. So I might try showing her that, see if that changes anything. Um, another thing though, that I, I just actually realized was that the, um, when we started to forget Basil, our, our objectives actually changed. We're not finding Basil anymore. It's not in there. Oh shit. Oh fuck. I actually wonder if this is a, a Hakikomori specific situation where we start to forget Basil or, or if that's going to happen in the other route as well. I don't know. Oh, one thing you guys did tell me in regards to watering the flowers is that uh, that is actually uh, one thing. One is that that is something that does happen. A. Hey. Doop, 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 doop. So that is something that happens in both routes. So it seems like it is programmed in there. Oh my God. Those flowers be dead. These are sunflowers. They're called that because they always face towards the sun. That's how I want to be like. Someone who always sees the bright side of things. Apparently, in the other route, the flowers, you aren't able to water the flowers anymore after you've entered Humphrey. So th I, that doesn't seem to be exclusive. So, I, it, which kind of leads me to believe if that is the case, then actually, probably in the other route, then we would also forget about uh, Basil. Like, that's just part of the story, right? However, um, the watering the flowers thing really is only important for the uh true ending of the game so i'm actually all right like i don't need to so the fact that i couldn't i couldn't water the flowers anymore is fine in this route as it really doesn't affect anything so okay cool um i was told that i might be able to do something with this oh shit <gasps> oh the swing disappeared Ooh, interesting was that i wonder if that was a memory with basil or something you know the doctors came in and stole it away. Okay. Ooh. Uh oh. What in the fuck? Another something fight. I am damaging it. <laughs> Everyone's afraid except for me. I'm used to it by this point. Starts boiling up. Uh, Sonny, I'm sorry. Creepy. It comes back again. I can't actually run away from it. Oh, that's funky. Ooh. He, he just comes back. I wonder if there are going to be various places like that now. Like seemingly areas that would have, that didn't really have any kind of purpose. That just may have just been some, some mention to the lore, right? That now have like the darkness grabbing it and getting rid of it and being replaced by this this lingering uh, monster. It really does lead me to believe that Basil himself is the darkness, right? Well, what about the doggy? You okay, doggy? Doggo? Okay, doggo's okay. Good. I was afraid he turned to like demon doggo and tried to also kill me. <laughs> or that giant yellow cow come out and just beat the shit out of him. No, don't you dare touch him. Wow, fuck. <laughs> 
It's like moments like that are so fucking cool in this game. And like, they're like, I, I love that shit. That's just so cool. Gets my damn theory brain going. And I'm just like, oh shit, what does this mean? So much deep dank lore. Hang on this side. Remember there not being much over here initially. Aside from this path that goes up there. Which we did go, go, to, go to the other side of that. I kind of wish these connected. I feel like this would have made a really nice shortcut. I actually did sort of realize too, the, um, the real purpose behind... Uh, letting, having that one cave at the very end of, uh, Humphrey's, uh, area where we talk to the giant shadowy figure, having it end up back in a Moore's room is it actually does make basically a nice loop, right? I can now more easily get back to, uh, that area instead of having to go to the deep sea, taking a taxi, and then running all the way the fuck to the end. So, that's true. Does this guy change anything? Give me some good advice. Why are shorts so small? Why you still have teeth? Thanks, Wise Rock. Huh. You think I'm gonna have some deep tank lore, bitch? You better guess again. I'm just some random ass rock. Okay, yeah, it seems like nothing else has really changed. I have, I, you guys did also mention that. I sh Aside from that one spot by the tree, there's generally not anything else to do right now. So I should just go ahead and head straight to uh, Basil's place. I'm just kind of doing some poking of my own. But yeah, basically uh, for this route, you don't have to worry about the Basil's flowers are just for stat boosts and nothing else. So don't worry about like not being able to water them. That does mean, though, next time that I do water the flowers on the other route, I should probably make sure that before I go inside of Humphrey, all the flowers are watered entirely, right? Because if that is the case that in the other route that where I can't water them after I enter Humphrey, does that mean the flowers will still start dying? Do I essentially have like a time limit or do they like freeze in place? So they basically just stay that way. I don't know. I guess we'll have to find out, but you guys have been constantly sort of stressing to me how watering the flowers is, is an, a very important thing to do. Which leads me to believe that it might affect the ending, which would... Oh, god damn it. <laughs> All I can say is god damn it. Especially, that only pissed me off if if it is the case that they get frozen in place and I can, like, fuck myself because I went inside the dumb whale and I just had to figure that shit out on my own. That'd be another giant fuck you from, uh... The developers of this game okay what was the other thing that's right let's get to the firefly forest um actually is it faster to do it this way or just to run there actually i think it's faster if i just run there ah you called me for no reason you just got near the uh near the entrance here oh god here we go again it's your girl what are we doing shit i gotta fucking have hero out i kind of wish this one did what like it does for some of the other things where it's like this looks like a job for hero like after the first time you figure out that you you need Hero to do it. So I stopped throwing my damn Tim clans in here. I have to wait for her to fucking appear. God damn it. Okay. Um, construction joke. Want to hear a joke about construction? I'm still working on it. Uh, hey, that joke's pretty funny. Oh my God, we did it. Hey. Uh, I feel a little better now. <gasps> oh, what in the fuck is that? Thanks for cheering me up, travelers. Here's a reward for your valiant efforts. It's an ancient weapon of indescribable power. Only a true hero is able to wield it. Dope, that's me. Oh, the gods are calling for me. I'm afraid it's time to take my leave. Peace out, bitches. Our time together was short, but it has been a mostly pleasurable experience. Perhaps we will meet again in another life. So long, travelers. It's been fun. Bye. I wonder if it was just like whatever the last uh, joke was that you told her. I'm thinking that's probably what it was. Like you had to find all of them and then tell her all of them. Or if it was specifically the construction joke. The lol sword. <laughs> and I got achievement. It's just XD. All right, hero. Behold the power of lol sword. Uh, increases his attack by 7, his juice by 10, but increases his HP by 30. That's just because the frying pan gives him so much health. How much HP does he have compared to everybody else? Well, currently, he's tied with me for the most HP. I mean, having him having more juice is good. Yeah, sure. I guess we'll go with it. I can always put the other one back on if I get, like, to a specifically, a particularly tough spot where I can just, where I need, need him to have more health. Okay, I think that's, uh, I think that's it. I think we're ready to move on then, which is good because I want to see what the fuck happens when we uh, go back to Basil's house now. I feel like Basil's going to be super pissed. <laughs> He's like, what the fuck, guys? You let my damn plants die and you forgot about me? 
I'm not even in your little book anymore. Now you're just going there to look at this th stupid house. That was my house. We used to do shit there, you, you fucking dickheads. You guys are the worst friends ever. I know. I know. These flowers are called Lily of the Valley. It says that they're able to ward off evil spirits and help people see a brighter future. I guess that's why they remind me of Mari. You can always count her to help me stay positive. And also Mari poisons people. <laughs> I don't, know, I don't know if that's going to come into play at all here. I'm starting to become very doubtful about that whole theory of like, oh shit, Lily the Valley, Breaking Bad told me that's a poisonous flower. And that's going to like come into play with Mario at all. I'm kind of just thinking, nah, more about all the other shit I was mentioning and not the poison part. Roses come in many different colors and have their own unique meaning. Pink roses symbolize admiration, orange roses symbolize passion, yellow roses symbolize friendship, and the list goes on. Here doesn't remind me of any rose in particular. I think Hero is like all roses because he's versatile and universally loved. Everybody loves Hero. This type of, type of flower called the gladi gladiolus, also known as the sort flower. As you might guess, it represents strength and character. Someone who is honest with strong moral values and a really hard head. Hey! Someone who stands by their convictions. The gladiolus reminds me of Aubrey. She's always, because she's always true to herself. Who the hell's talking to us right now? I don't know. Cacti are very sturdy and resilient plants by nature. They don't need much care because they're surviving even in seemingly impossible conditions. <laughs> Tell that to the dead cacti over there. Ah, fuck. Guess what I'm saying is that even you could take care of a cactus, Kel. The guy only had to water a cactus one time. Oh. You bet you bitches. You let them all die. You guys suck. He had one job. One job. Come on. Dead flower. Dead. Getting hazy. Uh oh. Oh, that's cool. Look at that. Tree slowly dying. Whoa. Oh, there's the footprints. Hmm. I wonder what the the red footprints are gonna play into. Like, could it potentially be like was there some point where Basil like was tracking bloody footprints somewhere like that's what this makes me think of like like did he witness something so like fucking awful did he like come across Mari's dead body potentially I don't know I'm like but how is that again then tied up to Sonny and Amori like this is what I really want to know what is that fucking thing that brings them together why does he see him as this demon ah I want to know so bad oh I can't run anymore yeah. Damn, Basil. I like what you do with your place. It's looking real snazzy. High five. Amori, I'm scared. Let's let's go back. Shut up. No. We're going to face this shit. I doubt we're going to get all the answers in this route, but maybe we'll get something. They look a little sad. Just like this boot. Hey, how's it going? All right, I'm going to hop in here. I'll meet you there. It's a long way down. Hell yeah. All right, guys, just, just, just listen, all right? I think we should jump down this endless pit. What? What are you saying? It's fine. It's right. We've done it like 30 times. You just guys seem to always forget. Ow. Hmm. I can hear some piano. Can't run or pause either. I also be curious to know what the the meaning behind like this idea that this world continues to cycle and loop again, right? And and Mari and Hero and Aubrey and Kel seem to like 
have like died pe seemingly in other routes and come back again, you know? Because that's, that's sort of what they were indicating before, right? When we came across those skeletons. Like the world resets itself. Is this just like the inevitable path that he ends up, he ends up coming back to these thoughts after some period and he has to basically reset himself and, and just start all over again. We're trying to push the, whatever trauma this is away. There she is. Interesting, the one bit of color, right? Lying in a coffin. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's pretty obvious by this point that is, it's definitely, the trauma is, has to be Mari's death, right? I mean, I'm just, just that, but the circumstances surrounding it, right? Of how, how did she die? Oh, fuck. Oh, I think she turned into that weird crooked monster thing again. I'm gonna ignore the door. Something's preventing you from getting any closer. Oh shit, it actually reacted. A white egret orchid. In the language of flowers symbolizes the phrase, my thoughts will follow you into your dreams. Black door casts cast a heavy shadow. What would you like to do? Open the door. Welcome to Black Space. The keys. Literal keys. Oh, shit. Very similar looking room here. A tissue box for wiping your sars away. Is this where is this where Basil's been the entire time? So I've got my white space and he's got his black space, potentially. Mars picnic basket. I can't save. I'm gonna have to look for all the keys now again. If I just like run around out here, no? No hands trying to grab me. Oh fuck. Is that a dead whale? Ah, demon basil! These rooms are full of broken things, but at least in here, I can see who you really are. The world that you create above this one. Did you make it to protect this place or to hide it away? Either way, it's become more powerful than you. Saying he's lost control of the world that he's created? What in the fuck? Hey, how's it going? What are you doing, dude? Nothing, just just hanging out. So much pain, so much pain, so much pain. Is that Humphrey? Is he fucking dead? Good, fuck him. Didn't like him anyway. Ew. Blah, blah. Blah, blah. So much pain. Ew. What the hell? Creepy Spider-Man. What in the what? Hey, how's it going? Whoa, what's up, dude? <laughs> oh, that's fucking weird, man. Oh, I walk slow on it too. Ew, is that the puppet from FNAF? <laughs> is that uh is that Snaily? Oh man, I'm I'm high as a car right now, I'll tell you what. Bird up. Oh shit, ah, oh, my face. 
Ow. Ow. Oh, hey, I found a key. So I'm gonna automatically. Nope, we're good. Oh, I see a hand. Ah, that's probably reset me. I wanna look around though. I wanna look at all the weird shit in here. Ew, ow, ah, my limbs, ah. Mmm, bacon bits, yummy. Whoa. Oh my God, this moving background and then we got shit moving on top of it. That is fucking up. That is fucking me up. That is. Bleh. Okay, I think I saw most of it. I'm guessing the hand probably just takes me back out now. Yep. Oh, good God. Good luck remembering all the doors you went in. Or just maybe it stays open now. Okay, now we've definitely entered the Yumniki side of the game. <laughs> Waiting for something to happen? What in the fuck? Loquacious cat. Hi, I'm Loquacious cat. Ask me anything. Uh, what is the meaning of life? Why are we here? What is the meaning of true love? How can I achieve happiness? How does free will exist? What happens after you die? Is cereal a soup? Why are we still here? Just to suffer. A small wooden table. What is the meaning of life? A tomato made of cloth. One six thick sewing needle. It just it just says something random every time. Thanks, loquacious cat. Don't mention it. It's what I'm here for. Okay, this, this looks like one of those toys you have as a kid. Uh, big ball of eyes. I'd love to see what the developer was like when he's describing like, all right, guys, when I need you to make, help me make assets for this area, I just want you to just make some crazy shit. We're gonna throw in a room full of other crazy shit with a background that looks like some QR codes and newspapers, like all kind of sewn together. It's great. Don't look, I'm in the shower. You're, you're far away from home. Am I? Or is this my home? <gasps> Cat house. Too small. This one doesn't look too small. This one looks too small. Oh, looks like those little, uh, little, uh, Russian dolls. Follow the cloud! Ooh! Okay, I'm following the cloud. I will show you the path! Hey, there we go. Yeah, like right here. Oh, oh. the cloud. Am I accomplishing anything by following you, Mr. Cloud? I think he's just fucking around with me. Okay, follow me. Hey, look, it's Lazy Cry or Lazy Dead. <laughs> You're following me. Oh, welcome to Epilepsy Zone. Ah, ah. Wait, does this say something? Oh, Escobaloiwa. Oh. Can't follow me! Oh! Okay, we got a lot of uh, just stains everywhere for some reason. <laughs> Lost in this confusion lies the root of everything. The truth that you've locked away. You must find it no matter what. You have to for the both of us. Okay, I got the key. Oh, and then the, I think only after I get the key do the hand show up. All right, I think I saw mostly everything in here. Oh, the doors disappear after I've gone through them. Okay, holy shit, am I gonna go through every one of these doors? We're gonna be at this for a while. All right, what new flavor of acid triple I have in here? <gasps> oh my God, it's a bit more mild finally. Are you lost? Not to worry. The red hands know the way back. Oh, I've noticed. Follow the path. I look for someone or something. Blah, 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 blah. Someone's done this before. Was it you? Was it me? Was it the flower boy? I don't know if it was suggesting that other guy before, the shadowy dude, if he was suggesting that the creatures down in the deep, deeper well is what was left of my friends after like seemingly one of these cycles or loops. 
Holy shit. Hello down there. Hello there, Slenderman figures. I know that's suggesting who these things are as well, maybe? Because they're kind of similar, right? To the deeper deeper well uh, guys. You ring the bell, but it doesn't make a sound. There's nothing here. There's nothing left. Nothing but death and despair. Despair. Oh! Dead skin boy! Oh, shit. Spooky, scary skeletons. Oh, wait. I, I just noticed that this is here. Um, your sketchbook. Take a look inside. Oh, shit. Even creepier versions of the already creepy pictures. Oh, God. It's fucking virtual boy colors, too. Oh, Jesus. Hmm. See, the butler, there's like some additional figure on top of him. Dark hand, dark figures. Some additional thing floating on top of that. Oh! Basil and Amore looking at the photos. Together. Uh-oh. I see I see a figure hidden in the dark there. I think that's that's actually the crooked figure. That's the that we saw of Mari before. I recognize the the shirt. It starts to get darker and Oh. Yeah. Mm. No, nothing but static. Oh boy, this is going to take a while. So I'm getting all of the keys to spell out again. Welcome to Black Space. Ding dong. Oh. I see you, dude. Little neighborhood. Running der. Yeah, I got hopscotch. Whoa. Upside down. Oh. Oh, when I interact with the trees, they flip over. Funky. Oh. A singular gravestone. Oh, wait, no, there's a few other ones. I follow the footprints. Bathtub. When you hit the truth, you sealed a part of me away with it. He's been waiting for someone to save him all this time. On that day, when you became nothing, I was split in half. Which one do you think was more painful? Hmm. When it became nothing, huh? So when he locked his feelings away. But he split, like, split Basil in half or something? Alright, Mr. Hand. Yeah. <laughs> Liar. Liar. <laughs> Liar. 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 Uh oh. Ground's falling apart. Liar, liar, liar. Liar, liar, plants for hire. Oh boy. Liar, 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 liar. Sonny, I love you. Oh, it's fo oh, you're following me now, good. Something has joined my party. You know, I'm actually almost wondering if perhaps this something is actually the um 
is, is going to in some way be Mari's like dying body. Like the eye is like, I, I don't know, like somehow like maybe her hair got like tossed over her face or something and just like her eye is visible. Like maybe she, I don't know. I, I'm not sure if she either fell down the stairs or she got sick or something, right? And while she was lying there, she looked over at Sunny and like, you know, like her final words were, I love you or something. That would explain maybe perhaps why the something is, is saying that to me right now, right? It actually would also make sense too, because I think I think that is who is talking to me when I'm fighting as Sunny against the darkness, right? I keep hearing, you know, it's a lot less scary than you th than you think it is. It might be the actual the monster itself telling me that, or no, some something itself. I don't know. Are the monsters themselves supposed to be something? I can't remember. Or are they just question marks? I think they are. I think they are something. Though in general, like I don't know, so the something might just be like a generalized worry or anxiety, right? But how they decide to show themselves determines what is actually communicating with them, right? I don't know. I think I am thinking that this one here could end up becoming what he sort of saw in regards to Mari. I see a key. Oh, I can see pictures in the background. That's they were, that might have been something they were showing earlier too. I didn't. It didn't hit me. Anything noteworthy? I think I see one of Mari potentially crying. Pictures of Sunny. I think a picture of the house there. Uh, Aubrey and Hero. Eyes. I see tallies on the wall or something too. Oh, the big creepy smile. I see part of his mouth there. I see like somebody lying on their side there. I can't, but their face seems to be blacked out. Okay, yes, I know. I know you love me something. I love you too. I love you. Okay. Where to next? Oh, I'm in the butler room. Uh oh. Oh, I do not like where this is going. Mr. Kitty, don't make me do this. Moo, Moo has been very, very bad. Got a key. Muo stares at you. She does not know what is happening. Oh no. Oh, fuck me. I got a key, right? Can't I leave? Oh, that sucks. Come on, don't make me do this. Oh, no, I don't wanna cut Muo. Make me do it. God damn it. Muo stares at you. She tilts her head out of curiosity. No! God damn it. Her eyes wide and she wants to go now. <sighs> Fuck. She struggles to break free. Her eyes are filled with desperation. Stop, stop, stop. This is this is fucked up. She just tries to scream, but there is no sound. She just does not know what's happening. Oh, this is fucked up, dude. What the fuck? Did I not have to do that? How do I get out of here? Waiting for something to happen. Yes, I am actually. What a way out. So always is one, but. Oh my God, I hate it. That, oh, that, that shit. No, 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 no. Okay, here, how? Oh fuck, yes. Jesus, fucking stab myself after that. Oh. Fuck that part, dude. Jesus. We're saying at some point that Amori or Basil or somebody was like abusing animals or Mr. Kitty. Ugh. I definitely could have done without that one. God damn it. I swear to God, if there's a way. I, if I could, could I have just paused the game and not have done that? Fuck. If there was, I would I'm. Wish I'd figured that out. I don't know. God damn it. I'm pissed. I'm pissed after that. Pissing me off, game. It's going too far.
I'm not gonna hurt Mr. Kitty, all right? Mr. Kitty can piss me off sometimes with his shenanigans, but I'm sure it's crap not gonna hurt him. It's Mr. Kitty for God's sakes. Oh my God. Flower. Got flower crown. Oh. Blip. Must get all watermelons. <sighs> Basil, you're back and you're in color. Amore, you came back for me. Don't lie to me. You're not really Basil. Is that my flower crown? I'm so glad you found it. No, it's mine. Let's get out of here. I'll follow your lead. Oh, God damn it. No. You're going to turn to a demon. I know you are. I know you really are. Growing well, my melons here has been fun, but I really miss my flowers back at home. How are they doing? Did you take care of them while I was gone? Hey, <laughs> yes, I tried to. Then eventually they were just like, nah, I'm just gonna die. Blech. Well, men sure are delicious. We used to cut them up and eat them all the time at the beach. I could still see Kel with those watermelon seeds all over his face. Ha! <laughs> so vacation with friends was the best, wasn't it? Shut up. Shut up, Basil. Uh oh, getting darker. Oh boy. Get all the watermelons. Get them all. Blech. 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 <gasps> oh! Oh, that was. Fuck. <laughs> Holy shit. Gross, but also kind of clever. Oh, I found it. <laughs> Ooh. Gross. Ew. Basil, you turned to mush. <laughs> wow. That was actually kind of a clever one. I gotta give it to them for that. You're opening all of them. Splat, 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 splat. And then finally get to one and the watermelon doesn't splat, but basil splats. Oh shit. Like, ah, ugh. Gross. Remember that time I spontaneously combusted? Good times. Okay, did I get all the watermelon? Oh, wait, there's a hand. Give me a hand. I'm not sure if I like it here in black space. I can see a uh, basil eyes around here. Oh! The flower boy is closer to the truth, whose eyes glow in eerie red. I've seen what you've done to him before. and pray that you don't find him again. Ooh, interesting. Done with him before, like, basically hid him away, potentially? Interesting. Is that potentially what's happening here? The moment the trauma or whatever starts to come back, like Basil discovers the truth, Amori immediately like seals him away, right? He's like, no, I'm going to put you back. I'm going to put you in this deep, dark place where I can never find you just to put those thoughts away. Again, I don't know why it's represented through Basil, but at Deep Blue, we see our friend's soul is born uncorrupted. We know too well what fate will befall him as otherwise. Guys, a lot of these dudes actually. Behind these doors, live rooms made of scattered fragments, forever changing. If you're lost, need not worry. The red hens will guide you. And the form you've taken, it cannot die here. You have hidden yourself away. Hopes, dreams, aspirations, do they mean nothing to you? Redemption is hidden among one of these doors, but will never open for you in that form. You have to find another way in. So my black and white self is immortal here, huh? Do I have to become sunny? Oh God, finding out, finding and talking to all these guys can be uh, slightly difficult. Uh. You may not be in control now, but do not lose hope, Dreamer. There are those who still believe in you. Please have mercy, Dreamer. The souls born here may never materialize, but their screams still echo through the ground. The souls born here? Does that include the souls of my my friends? I'm sort of suggesting that this world has basically taken on a, a shape and a form of its own, right? And it's gone beyond what Amori can control. He's created the power of life. Bring back the fucking dead. Why must you take that cursed form? It is indeed strong, can protect you, but if you rely on it too often, what you will sacrifice can never be reclaimed. My humanity. Something was taken here from a, a long time ago. Where did you hide it? Only you know where it is now. This place has changed a great deal since you were last here. Will you be able to find your way back or will you finally lose yourself? You are here again, dreamer. To what do we owe the occasion? Are you running out of time? Must find all lore. Without keys of our own, we are forced to wander endlessly here. These doors will not open for us. We are not as fortunate as you. That kind of sucks too, because when they turn, they turn their back to you. You lose the, you lose where they are in their eyes. The truth is difficult for you. In the past, it has caused you to stray to your destructive form. Your current form seduces that. 
although it is also evil, may still be the better of the two. Ooh. He did say that it was split into two, huh? So I am one half of it. Omori is one half and the other half is Basil the destructive form. Is that like self-destructive? That's kind of what I was sort of getting. With great power comes great burden for yourself and for the people closest to you. Who are you protecting? And is it worth it? Is it all worth it? Must talk to everyone. I'm actually starting to think potentially, I don't know if it's necessarily that Basil will always find the truth. Will Basil always disappear every time? If it's just simply that any one of them, if they discover the truth, they get sent here, right? Because they, that cannot exist in this world or cannot be allowed to exist in this world. Yeah, okay, I think, I think I've spoken to everybody. Hopefully. All right, uh, on to the next room. Ooh, color. And a seemingly normal beach with fish heads in the water. Oh, I see a picture. Ah, it's turned to fuzz. Our friends who have suffered because of us, can we still call them friends? No matter how much I want it, things can't go back to the way they were before. What? Why does part of me still cling on? Is there still hope left for us, Sonny? Yeah, it seems like this this game clearly man is like the manifestation, right, of like depression and and dark suicidal thoughts, right? But it also seems to have taken on quite a bit of a fantasy as well. Like like somehow we've also this dream itself has become like a reality of its own. We're actually creating our friends who are alive and living inside this headspace and also dying in this headspace. I think that's who he's referring to. Can we even call them friends? What we've done to them with... Keep bringing them back to die again and again? In this world of ours? Are they dying every time I, uh... We jump back down in this hole again, right? When I come close to the truth, are they like... Being cast in the darkness? Or perhaps just simply dying every time we fail on our, our mission to maybe always fi find Basil? Blue girl. Don't talk to me. Don't you demon talk to me. Fine, be that way. Bitch. Ah, how good, they've got direct TV down here. Uh. God damn it. Where's the Kate? Am I just getting all the pictures? Man, seriously, this is a lot of like... I can't believe they're coming up with like this many sort of like vague, obscure places to form as references to uh, what's happening. Oh. Oh. It is impressive. It was also probably very time consuming. I have to draw out all the, all the assets for all these unique areas. Probably took quite some time. All right. High five. Red door! Holy shit! <laughs> so I I uh I actually restarted it. I exited and I, I was gonna restart it to to retry something. Um and the title screen changed. Holy shit. No cutesy music now. Just this weird reverberating sound. What the fuck? Freaky. Okay, so I actually uh restarted because there's something actually was informed about by Nessie herself. It was something uh, I was told offhand uh, a while back. Um, and I, I realized when I got to this part that this was probably what she was referring to, but I couldn't remember exactly what she wanted me to do. She just said in a very non-spoiler way, at some point, you'll reach a point where somebody just says, I love you. Let them say it a certain number of times and then do something. But I couldn't remember what it was and I was looking through our messages and I couldn't find it. So I just kept going, um, but then, she got back to me and she told me what it was that I, I need to do again. So I decided to just come back here and redo it. Um, however, by coming back here, I did I did learn something. So it looks like the, the doors that we go through, they aren't specific to each area. You are actually going in a set order. It's the same order every time. 
So it doesn't matter what or, what door I pick the first time, it's always going to take me to the same place. Just the, it will the second time and the third time. But she told me that there's this really obscure thing that is kind of hard for a lot of people to come across. Um, so if you get to a section where someone says I love you and it is this section, wait till they say it 15 times and then examine the void. And when she said the void, I didn't really know what she meant exactly. She means this, I, I believe. So now I gotta wait for them to say it to me 15 times. Okay, I've done it. I don't seem to be able to interact. Oh, oh, here we go. Okay, I was like, I'm not triggering it. What I had to do is I had to grab the key first. Now I can do this. Jump! Oh, fuck. Where am I going now? <laughs> Following it deeper. Oh, I can see the I can fully see the ground that was below me now. The pictures here. I kind of want to actually look here before I even start moving. If I see anything. So this is one right here, like this one lying on the ground. Could that potentially be uh, like Mari having fallen down or is it just someone lying in bed? I can't tell. Their face is blacked out. What? What the? Hey, Mori, are you hungry? Just about to cook something up, but I'm missing some important ingredients. Why don't you find some and bring it back to me? Uh, okay. You are afraid? Whoa. Saw flicker there. Ah, oh, fuck, where the demon lord am I? What have I done? Is he living inside of a pot? I see Kel in a bathtub over there. Oh god. Uh. Can I go over there? Oh, actually, no, it's sunny. Oh, wait, hey! I can! Secret spot! Oh god. Actually, yeah, it's sunny in the bathtub. Oh, God. Oh, God, I'm getting deeper. Deep sea fishies down here. The really freaky ones with giant teeth. What in the fuck is happening? Oh, I do not like this. Where the fuck am I? Ah! Destiny, what have you done to me? Ooh. There's always a man. There's always a lighthouse. There's always a... City. Oh my god. Where am I going? Brrrr. So I'm playing to me the Inception soundtrack? Damn, there's more shit back there I didn't get a chance to examine. Oh. <gasps> I've reached land. Oh my god. It's just getting weird, man. Going back into deep well again? 
deepest well. What in the fuck? What? This rabbit hole goes deeper. Gotta find the dank lore. It's buried in here somewhere. Must go deeper. Or am I going up or... Whoa. Oh. Okay. Wait, what? I'm in ladder and then I'm over here. Okay. I appear to be moving. Oh. I'm sorry. <gasps> Saw something. I I'm about to be jump scared at any moment here. Uh, is there anything else in here? Is that it? Is that all that's buried down here? Yeah, just the words, I'm sorry. I don't see anything else out here. Oh God, I have to climb all the way back. Uh, don't make me climb all the way back. They're like, hope you enjoy that bit of lore. What lore? Now climb back. <laughs> no, I don't want to. Come on, man. It's gotta be some shit down here, right? I can't interact with these at all. Oh wait, I can stab. I'm actually curious. Can I do that down? Can I do it out here? I can, seemingly. I feel like this will just take me back to black space though. Oh, I'm back in the, back in the dock. Okay, cool. It did take me back here because I was like, shit, there's some stuff in here. Oh my god, it is so staticky. This is probably fucking the bitrate for you guys. I'm sorry if it is. YouTube bitrate is notoriously bad as it is for shit like this. Uh, can I talk to that now? What's on this side? <sighs> More deep sea fishes. More. Ooh, a web, but it, it keeps scrolling back. The so fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Ah, <gasps> you are afraid. Oh my god, I got through. Open the fucking door, Amari. Come on, if I had to get fifteen, I love you to get in here. It's gotta be some shit like this, right? Uh, damn it. Damn it, Amari. Don't puss it on me now. Come on. I see a house. What the hell? Does this take me right back? It does. Excuse me? What is happening now? Pillow hider? They call me a pillow hider. I'm a master of hiding pillows. Oh, I got me so fucked up. What? Oh. Okay. <laughs> I click it and it just does that to me. Oh, you see on the outer edge is the darkness. It's black space. Wait, I'm sorry. Did I just... Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought an RPG maker walked my way up this ladder here. Shit's getting weird, man. Don't know how I feel about this. I'm beginning to regret my life choices. That fair pillow disappeared again. I can't just can't sleep without it. Uh, I will find it for you. Sit. Oh, I see it. It didn't actually show up until I talked to him. Qu ah! Did you find it? Ah! I was about to, and then you ruined it. Is it nice out of the way, right? Oh, wait, no. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. Do I give him the pillow or do I just fuck off? Burr. Burr. All right, I got your pillow. This isn't my pillow, but thanks anyway. Oh, pff, fuck you, kid. I'm, I'm stabbing myself now. Did I actually get a pillow? Oh my God. 
Holy shit, so I can see so clearly when I pause and the static is gone. So the stack is kind of killing me here. You work for this, Nico. You work for this, Lord. This looks like a job for Aubrey. Too bad Aubrey left me. Damn it. Aubrey! Oh, oh God. What the? Aubrey! Oh, I see dead bodies everywhere. Amari! Yeah? Brr. I found blah, blah, blah. Did I find Kel? Is it in my thing here? I do not see it. Oh wait! It's a snack? I can't use it. Do I want to trash this? I don't know, do I? Oh, I found more of it. Uh oh, my world's breaking apart, dude. Uh, uh. What? Oh, fuck. There's that stupid tree. It's got a noose on it. Amari, what you doing, boy? I see a key. This looks like a job for Aubrey. Shut up. I can't get up. No. The key's out of range. No. No. Let me find Aubrey. It's the only way. Stop ta tell talking to me by my name. It's freaking me out, Sprout Moles. What? I'm back here again. And then it just resets. Am I walking on this table? I am. I wonder if I can actually find Aubrey in this area. I found Hero. Seriously, what the fuck? Why, why can't I walk on this table? And why is that the thing that's bothering me most here? Okay, let's just keep looking. Still a lot going on in this area. God damn it. Now what? Nothing else here? Gotta get my voicemail. Oh, I felt something for him to cook. That's what it was. Found something for me to cook. I'll have ready in a minute. Got blue, goody blue. Cool. Should I ingest this? So this is the thing I found. Is that important? Huh, just didn't try I thought it would, but it'd be, it'd be a waste not to give it, so enjoy. You got key ingredient. What the fuck? Why did that time give me something different? It's important. Key ingredient. Oh, I think he's just giving me more of this shit. Yeah, I could seem to be able to continuously do that. I thought he was giving me a different item. Because that, that has four and I have three here. Yeah, no, he's giving me, he's just giving me this. Despite saying it's giving me four, it's actually the same item. Just did a few times and now he's got, now I got a key. What can I do with it? Oh my, I swear to God, this stack is getting worse. So do I go back there now and can I open the door or something? Oh my God. My eyes, they burn. I feel, I seriously feel like there's like eight layers of static right now. Like, <laughs> like they keep, every time I come back here, it's like they layer another one on there. You're afraid. No. Okay, it's, it's not that. Back in here again? No? What? Does this not get me this thing? Or can I get this key now? Oh my god, I swear to god, there's just like static upon static. I can barely see what's happening anymore. Do I need to use it? I can't. What the fuck do I do? Oh my God, what the fuck? Huh? Oh my God, I found a secret path. Holy fuck, yes. I, oh God, seriously. Okay, I've noticed if I pause and unpause, it seems to sort of get rid of the static. Wait, am I going? I can't tell if I'm going anywhere. Oh, I think I'm zigzagging. What the fuck is that? Oh my God. What in the fuck is going on now? Uh, that's a lot of red. I have entered virtual boy space. Oh my God. Oh my God. Hey, is that toast? That better not kill me. What the? Uh, is it hurting me? I think it is hurting me. Yes, it is. Ow. 
I think that might be Mari Mari splatted head or some shit. Oh, oh my god. Okay, static. Calm down, please. Wait, am I or am I just slowly getting hurt walking around here? Oh, it sucks. I can't run at all though. Ah, help! <laughs> what the? F what? What is happening? I can't see anything. Uh oh. I. Th oh my god. Oh, this is awful. Look what you've done. What? Look what you did. Oh. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is fucking creepy as shit and I can't see because the game hates me. Oh, hey. Pausing and unpausing gets rid of it. That is some creepy fucking faces. Oh my god. <laughs> Look what you've done. Freaky. Oh, that does. Oh my god, there's so many of them. Demon Mari. She wants me dead. Holy shit. Static, please, please. I don't know if this is intended to do this, right? I can pause and unpause to get rid of it. I have no idea. I'm just... Look what you've done. You can't catch me, suppressed thoughts. Ah. Oh my god, sir. I don't even know if there's progress here or if I just wait to slowly get killed by these things. Or maybe I'm going in a loop. And they're going to show up to the left of me here in a second. Oh my god. Dude, this is freaky as fuck. What in the hell? It's like the these things, I can't even see them clearly. And then suddenly... Bleh. Oh my god. Okay, I'm heading in a downward direction. Ah! <laughs> so freaky, dude. I don't like it. I don't like it. Wait. I have hit the bottom. Oh god. I hit the bottom. Now what? Please, God, tell me there's a way out of here. Shit. How many of these demon crooked-headed ladies are there? Oh, my God. Seriously, my eyes are hurting from this shit, dude. If you start hearing me spazzing out over here, it's probably the sound of me having a seizure. <gasps> I see a ladder! Uh-oh. I gotta get to it. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, uh, no. Ah, oh, they won't want me dead. They're guarding the ladder. I don't want to lose track of it. Fuck. Stupid VHS. Uh, uh, uh. I'm afraid if they touch me, it's gonna like reset it or just straight murder me or something. Fuck! Do I have to loop around? Damn, Mori, maybe act like your uh, life depends on getting away from these chicks because I think it does. Okay, 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 okay. Can I get over there? I see it. Oh, that's evil. Fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. Is there a way over there? Is there even a path over there? Oh, there is. I gotta come from the top, though. Up top. Oh, God. Over here, over here, over here, over here. Down, down. I think. Is this it? Yes, yes, yes. No! Sir, follow me. Oh, that sucks, dude. God damn it. They're guarding the way. We're coming. Oh my god. Okay. All right. All right. All right. 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 Okay. Yes. Yes. Ah! What the hell is that? It's the core. What is happening? What is going? Oh my god! I see Demon Amori in the back. He's the background. Okay, so there's the stack needs to calm down. Holy shit. There should be some epilepsy warning. Seriously, for this section. What in the... F no! The not me back. What is this supposed to be? Can I do something with it? God damn it. I can't see what you're dick in here. Swear to God, this looks like the core or something. Must stab it. Okay, now what? Is there anything else around here? Aside from Demon Mari's? Oh my god. The static. Oh. Yeah, it's like you pa pause and unpause and it kind of gets rid of it. 
Rangers. So if I touch the... Yeah. So when you touch that, that's when it seems to like set her off. Should I let her get me? They seem to transform after her a bit. Let's just see what happens if they get me. I just hope it doesn't like either kill me or like end it or game over or, or what. Oh, fuck. Look at what you've done. Ow. Ah. Definitely hurting me. I can. I got a billion snacks. So I don't have to really worry, worry about. So I don't have to worry about actually dying. Hot dog. Thanks, hot dog. Bruh. Am I killing them or are they? I think they're killing me. When I was hitting, when I was actually hitting an action button next to them, I was actually doing something. Oh god, damn it! What else do you want from me, huh? All right, I guess let's keep looking around. Maybe there's some other stuff in here. I don't like this place. Okay, let's try to avoid the toast. If I leave the area and come back, it seems to reset. Thankfully. Let's see if there's any other areas in here. Because, good God, when you touch the toast, it actually makes things so dark. I can't see dick. Oh, my God. Why? Why does this place look like this? How big is this area? Seriously, who's fucking... Wait, is there any way I could turn this shit off? I feel like there has to be a way to turn off, like... I don't see anything. This shit is seriously killing my eyes. How far are you willing to go for the lore? That was actually more than one toast, too. Oh, I found a new ladder. Oh, shit. What in the fuck is going on now? Am I going anywhere? Uh. Well, it took me right back, so. Oh, God damn it. All right, let's just keep going until something happens. Waiting for something now. I think this is starting to make more sense now. <laughs> that line. Huh. Deeper I go. Deeper. De oh, God. Deeper. Still deeper. Deeper still. There's going to be a bomb to this shit. I know it. Oh, my God. This music, too. This is crawling my ear holes. Ah, ah, stop it. What the? <gasps> Daddy Longlegs, I found you. Ah, you come a long way down. But you should turn back while you still can. What? Daddy Longlegs, what are you doing down here? I thought you set yourself on fire. Is this where you went? Fuck you, I'm going, I'm going in deep, my, my dude. I'm going in deep. Go big or go home. I'm gonna get somewhere at some point. I just feel it. <gasps> ah! Damn it. <laughs> oh, this is so evil, man. You wanna go fast, but when you pass by something, it's gonna come on you so fucking fast and then you can't get it. Okay, there's daddy long legs again. There's clear, there is clear progress. He seems to be in about the same spot was before too. All right. All right, stick it nice and relatively slow. Just get a good look at your surroundings each time you reach a new floor before you keep going down. I see it. What the fuck is that? Huh? And I can't even interact with it? You told me I came back here for fucking nothing? What am I looking at? Okay, going deeper. What's happening? Uh-oh. Where am I? Uh, I see a big face! Demon Mari! What the hell can I... I'm trying to move forward. I can't seem to. 
It's, uh, it's following me. If you guys can even fucking see this shit. Yeah. I don't think I'm going anywhere. Yeah. I can't seem to move towards the face either. Seems like this is where all the suppressed thoughts of Mari are and stuff. Like, the deeper I'm going here, the, the more staticky it gets, the more crazy it gets. So the bomb is her, huh? Okay, I feel like I've looked around everywhere here. I don't know if there's anything else here. If there is, fuck it. Cause, uh, this, uh, this is driving me fucking insane. And it's killing my eyes. And my brain. So it seems like this is where he's potentially keeping that demon memory of Mari, right? The one true Mari. The one that will rule us. Rule us all or kill us all or something. One of those. Just remember, kids. Don't touch the toast. Never touch that motherfucking toast. Or Demon Mario will get you. Okay, get me the fuck out of here. I can't believe this actually took me somewhere. Oh my god. This is like some weird hidden place off the fucking beaten path. I was just running into corners like, you know what? Are they they're really going to put something as cheeky like that down here? And yup. The answer is yup. Okay, god damn it. Now I gotta check every other corner of this place. What the fuck am I supposed to do with this key thing? This key ingredient. God, I hate this fucking static. Do the fish, like, come towards me? No. I'm gonna be really pissed if I look back at all this footage. And it's completely unusable because none of this shit is fucking actually visible through all the static. Oh, I didn't talk to this guy. Oh, you found it. Forget about the pillow hider thing. I just thought I'm better hiding something else instead. What? Oh, God. He disappeared. Oh, hey, I can... Wait, I can actually use this shit. It actually, it does actually heal me. Okay, I think I'm ready to get the fuck out of here now. Oh, sweet fucking staticless world. Oh, thank God. Oh, my eyes, my eyes could not take anymore. Oh. Okay, I was curious. You actually can come here and not do what... All you have to do is stab yourself. To avoid this part. Oh, thank God. I wish I'd realized that the fucking first time, though. Loose wire. There is no light bulb here. Oh! 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 Here lies Andrew Vance, a.k.a. Sleepy Yukuya. The town drunk died fighting actual mole. 1873 to 1901. Oh my God. Here lies Ocean's dream. Hey, I know Ocean. That's from the RMN community as well. Died as he lived, covered in cheese. Yeah, so this is what... <laughs> so Nessie told me there's apparently a secret place that was over here. If you examine one of the gravestones. I didn't see this. But this is clearly the developers here. Here lies Melon Kid, accidentally w walked into a rake. Here lies Obo Cat. It is only when we die that we truly begin to live. Okay. Here lies M's. Yes, I also heard you guys told me that M's, the little hamster, was based off a, a real person. Just actually, like, there's quite a few people that have like in game counterparts here. Food offerings required. Here lies Ray, died in a fight. But you should see the other guy. Here lies Mints, wilted from lack of water. Here lies Whitney White, aka Yin, the demon got its revenge. Because everyone got to choose what they wanted to have to say on their gravestone. AV, poignant, yet ever so fleeting. Truly, this was the effervescence of life. Here lies Rochelle, death by caffeine at age 23. Here lies Pedro, destroyed. Here lies Patino, no buried treasure here, nope. Here lies Blue Moon, everyone's favorite senpai. So long, Fiuto. Here lies TDS. You have to be realistic about these things. Here lies Kim Vance, aka La Agua, Agua Cat, Kate. Death by involvement in an illegal avocado smuggling accident. Hey, there she is. <laughs> this is Nessie. Here lies Arkea. Died swimming with the fishes. Poor Nessie. Here lies Kashi. Do not open till 20XX. Here lies Mugiri. It's dark in here, but I kind of like it. Here lies Kairu. Life Jam had no effect. 
Here lies Pride Coon. Still hasn't found her pen. <gasps> oh, I got an achievement too. Cool. I swear, I, when I first came here, I thought I checked every tombstone, but I must have, I must have missed one. Yeah. Okay. There are actually quite a few tombstones. It loops though. Yeah. Yeah. I just, I just missed that one. Well, I got, I'm glad I came back for it. Okay. I hopped back to my, honestly, I was, I kept going back and restarting it again and just hopping back to one of my older save files. But, uh, okay. Now I'm back to the other one where I actually unlocked this red door here, but I was told again in a non-spoiler way that simply that a red door at some point when you get there means a point of no return. Meaning once I go through there, I'm not gonna be able to come back here. So let's go ahead and explore the other rooms. Also, as I've, as I've been repeating this, it actually made me realize too. Yeah, that, that notebook and that computer w were not here when I got here. As I've been going through the doors, they've been, they got added. What the hell? Oh, thank goodness you're here, Omori. I thought I was gonna be stuck here forever. Oh, you're free. I thought you exploded, Basil. Phew, that feels so much better. Can't believe you came here to save me. I missed you so much. Now that you're here, I can finally go home. Lead the way, Amari. Oh boy. This is the last time you died. What the hell are these things? You know, I think spires are really misunderstood. They might look kind of scary, but they never, they never attack humans unless they feel threatened. Not to mention, they're also one of my biggest helpers when, uh, when I'm guarding since they eat a lot of the pests that can hurt my plants. It's all about the balance of nature. I remember a while back, you told me that a big spider fell on your shoulder to see you were about to dive into the lake at our secret hangout spot. Yes, I remember that. That spider must have looked scar so scary to you, but I promise that you probably looked a lot scarier to the spider. No offense, of course. Ah. See, like, and this is the happy-go-lucky Basil we saw before, and uh-oh, he's covered in shit. Oh, there's so many spires here all of a sudden. Oh my god, are they all over him? I can feel them crawling all over me. Maybe they're just saying hello? Uh-oh. Hi, spiders. It's me, your friend Basil. Oh god, they're gonna eat him. This shit's getting fucked up. Kill him. Kill Basil. That's dead it. I'm gonna destroy their webs. That'll stop them. Ah, they're biting me. Oh, I'm probably just scaring them. Oh god. There, 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 spiders. It's okay. Oh, God. Basil, no, just get him off yourself. Don't let him crawl over you. Ah, ah, ah. I'm not here to hurt you. Um, blah, 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 blah. Oh, shit. Are we, are we actually going to see like a transformation here with Basil? Get the fuck out, me, bitch. <laughs> what are these things on the floor? Oh, they're, they're, they're spiders, I think. Yeah. Like squish spiders, maybe. There's so many of them. I can't get them off. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Amari! Amari! Please, help! It's too late. Nah, he's fucking dead. Bye! Hey, how's it going? I killed your friend. The baby spires grieve their mother's death. And they got the revenge. On fucking Basil. How dare you, Basil? Damn. <laughs> this is like this is like an episode of South Park. Just to the end, Basil's gonna die, right? Basil is Kenny. Oh my god, you killed Basil. You bastards? <laughs> uh, gotcha. I'm gonna get you. Nothing but static. Oh my god. Do my eyes still hurt from that other area? Seriously, I, I gotta give a fucking epilepsy warning for that whole fucking segment. It is just... I wish. I really wish there was a way that either to turn that off or in some settings or something. Because that was... That was a little much, alright? I get it. I mean, I get the symbolism and stuff, but come on, man. It shouldn't get so to the point where it's like... I'm trying to find shit, and after a while, it's like my brain is hurting from all the static that's on screen. Oh boy. God, this place is fucking huge. There's so much shit here. Oh, that was fast. I, I took the loopy loop de loop way. I miss you, Sonny. You were always someone I could depend on to listen. My problems, my hopes, my dreams, you know them wet, know them all. So if you're still there, please let my words reach you one more time. Hmm. Anything else out here? Jump rope. 
A single daisy. These weird plants, too. What in the fucking fuck is that? M Mari, expand your mind, Amari. Expand. That is fucking... What? That is so fucking nasty. I'm almost wondering if this is also potentially like, again, maybe she died from like a head injury or something. You see, like, see her fucking brain? Play on that. Wow. Oh. Oh my god. Expand. Expand. Dude, this shit is gonna give me nightmares. What in the fuck, dude? There is some fucked up shit in here, man. Ah, brains are everywhere. Brains. Now I'm wishing I hadn't found that. Get me out. Get me out. Oh, God. Everyone's faceless. Uh. Mm. Faceless basil. Uh oh. Blech. Oh, that was weird. So just that one random time he had a darkness on his face. Now it's gone. No darkness on your face. Oh, is it just going to be basil? Because basil is the darkness in some way, right? At least it seems to be. Where's your face, Aubrey? <laughs> I'm so lazy. I don't even feel like walking around. Oh, wait. No, wait. I'm over here. I'm faster than everybody else, by the way. Get over here, Kel. You piece of shit. Stop running. Oh, my God. You're so squirrely. Mari. Mm. <gasps> no! Oh, fuck. Mari's face portrait turned into something. I'm totally right. Something is literally just Mari. I have a... Oh, fuck. That deep dank lore. Yeah. Aubrey's, Kells, and Heroes don't change at all, but Mari and Basil's did. So, yeah, he's the darkness. She's... That fucking demon thing, as well as something. I actually legit think that is what that is going to end up being a symbol, a symbolism of like her death, right? Like she's going to have like, like when she's like lying dead, she's going to have like her hair over her, like her face. She's just going to have like one eye peeking out through the hair and it's going to look like that. I'm calling it. I'm calling it right now, guys. Now what? Uh, I see some shoes. Uh, you took a nice nap. Oh, thank you. Thank goodness. I needed that. Wait, there's a thing flying overhead. Where'd it go? Okay, just because repetition seems to be doing stuff here. Let's keep taking nice naps until potentially something happens. Uh, uh nothing. More hopscotch. <laughs> and there's a singular tree here. That is the ultimate battle in the game. God damn it. I'm pissed off that's the case. One single tree that looks like the same as all the other trees, except for a single pixel in the bottom right corner. Oh boy. All right, Basil, you want to die this time, dude. Oh, Maury, is it really you? How'd you find me, you silly Billy? Are Kellen, Aubrey, and Hero here too? I miss you all so much. Glad the treehouse is still standing. Everyone worked really hard to make it make it together. All right. I was also in one of the books in the library. Let's go home, Amari. So I keep trying to bring him out, but something always kills him, right? Something always ends up stopping it. Oh, God. Yeah, it worked really hard to, work, to bring it together. Cat. Summer. Date. Toast. Friend. Toast. Toy. Gone. Fun. Fun. TV. Kel. Heavy. Metal. <laughs> Game. Cards. Cookies. Toy. Gone. Fun. Well, that was nice. All right, let's get the shit out of here. What? Ding! An elevator? I wonder if where it leads to. Maybe it can take us back home. No. We're going down here. I'm going to hop on the bed and go to sleep again. But you're going to be here. So I'm sure we'll be fine. We took a nice nap. Let's keep doing it. Basil, until you pop. <laughs> no, you keep doing it. Ah, oh God, my mouth is still exploding. Expanding more. Ah, ah, ah. 
Pop goes the basil. I'm just kidding. I'm still here. I'm sure won't regret this. Key. Where do you want to go? Uh, other world. I feel good about this, Basil. Think we might be, think we might be, uh, getting ready to die here. Actually, while we're in here, can I share something with you? No, we're gonna die. Don't you get it? Mari? Oh, we're here. Too late. <gasps> we didn't go anywhere. Oh, fuck. Ah, oh, man, this, this is definitely not gonna be a good way to go. Hold on, Maury. I, I think I'm stuck. Could you help me out? Too late. Uh, what the fuck? Oh my god, how you do this, Maury? I know. You deserve to die, Basil. This is getting slightly comical. I'm fine. Glue me back on, Maury. You win a little basil, you lose the basil. Bop, 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 bop. Let's see how many other new ways I can get uh, basil killed. Must die. <laughs> it's pretty fucked up. It's like this wholesome, wholesome child gets killed in the most brutal of ways. Hi, Mari. Hair. Why did you let my head get cut off? I'm sorry, all right? You, you're, you're too slow. What the fuck? What kind of who made this elevator anyway? Back then, I wanted to save what was left. But even after everything, you left me, Sonny. I waited so long for you to come back. Even seeing you now, it's hard to think straight. I can feel my heart hurting, and I want to cover my face and hide. The other part of me wants to just stab the fucking shit out of you. There's so many things I want to say to you. The words won't come out. I just, I waited so long for you to come back, Sonny. But you never did. You never did. Empty fishbowl. Oh, sorry. Uh-oh. Goop. The goop. Beware of the goop. All right, get me out of here. Um, oh, am I back in these woods again? See a cave over there. Oh. Oh, I didn't even hit me that the tree stump actually. Oh, there he is. Amari, I'm back. Oh, God. Oh, God. I feel like I, I just keep dying. Um... I was actually kind of hit me. The tree stump itself might have been in reference to that one tree that was getting getting cut down, right? Like, you are not my son. Why won't this tree fall? Where we saw a, a noose hanging from it. Could that be the same tree? Does it eventually get cut down? Was it the father? Did Basil kill himself? What's happening? Maybe, maybe that's, maybe that is what happened. Maybe Mari it died and Basil felt bad and he killed himself. And the, and the thought the thought of Basil committing suicide has, like, just in addition to his sister dying, is just, like, fucked up Sonny irreparably. But it might also, maybe that's also why he sees this darkness, right? Like, the, he represents those dark thoughts. Uh, I don't know, maybe. Amori, Amori, I'm right here. Ta da! Surprised to see me? I've been hiding out in the stumps since I got here, along with 30 other versions of me. I'm not best at defending myself, but I think I'm pretty good at surviving, at least. Anyway, I knew you would come save me, Amori. I'm sure we'll be able to make it out of this place for now that you're here. This place seems a little dangerous, but I trust you. Oh, boy. Careful about a man with an axe. Hey, Amori, you're acting kind of cold. Did I do something? No, I just never say anything to anybody. Do you want to take the raft? We going on a raft adventure with my best friend Basil. 
Mari, I don't like this place at all. It doesn't feel very safe here. But at least we have each other. Ah. Shut up. You're ruining my good time. Actually, you're saying it's really been bothering me. Would you care to hear me out? Amori says nothing. Ah, too late. <laughs> Do I want to take the raft? Ah, oh, fucking dead. Why does Basil have to keep dying so many horrible ways? I'm gonna take it back. Going on my little raft adventure with with my best friend Basil. Do 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 do. Good old times of Barry and Basil. Yeah. Yeah, this is really a really heartwarming game. Uh, okay, didn't get more dead or get his head put back on. <laughs> Do you want to be asleep or awake? There are only two options. Well, there is always is another, but. What the fuck? Oh, okay. Bye. Oh God, now where am I? I see some graves, I guess, over there. These things, that, these were the things that took me to that static area before. Is it going to do that again? Actually, I'm looking around in that case before I... Oh, wait! There's Hero! I can't get to him, though. Oh, God! Stacks... Oh, fuck! The... When I pause it, I'll pause it. Actually, make the stack come back in fucking full force. Damn it! Oh, hey! There's Aubrey. Oh, wait. It went away. Cool. I wouldn't be surprised if Kel's here, too, then. I can't seem to get to them, though. What? This one specific man. Damn, nice. Nice JPEG, bro. Uh oh. It's another one of those. Yup. Oh, God damn it. Here we go. And run to the right as it gets more and more staticky again. And by run, I mean walk because I can't run. Can't seem to go anywhere else, right? I can't go. Oh, wait. I can't go down. Oh, down just takes me back again. So just, okay. Keep going in the rightward direction. Wait, is the... I think the background's getting more and more fucked up. It's like getting continuously photoshopped or something again and again. Music's getting weird, too. It is. Like, the top part of it is... What the hell? Getting messed up. What? <gasps> the finger of God! Huh? Wait, did it? Or wait, was it always like this? Or am I, am I just losing my mind? I think I'm losing my mind because it looks the same now. What the fuck? That didn't even. It just took me back? Huh? Okay, so don't touch the top. Just. There's like a finger there, huh? It's a finger. And that's just it. I don't get it, but okay. I like it's just that random dude. Other dudes I examine, they don't do anything. But that dude... That dude did. Which means I gotta examine literally everything now. This is... This is, this area is... Examine everything. Even if it seems to be nothing. And it, other ones don't do anything. There's gonna be one. That one that's gonna be... Where something is. Is it lore? Or is it fuck all? You decide. 
Okay, there's the clear thing where I need to go, right? What, what about this dude here? Or this worm here? Or this weird house here? I actually don't see Kel anywhere, weirdly enough. Especially Aubrey and Hero. He's like down here just out of sight and I can't see him. Okay, now what? The weather vane is pointing north. Oh, does it get changed my path? It's like open a path. Was it initially pointing north to begin with? Oh, it is. Now I can go over here. I'm over here. Nothing's happening though. Oh, oh, no, oh, I can't get to it. Wait, fuck you game. It's not letting me. Yeah, now that it's not pointing north anymore, I can't go to the area where the little dude was standing. Okay, yeah. Weather vane is determining what my path is. Pointing east, so that closed the path to Aubrey then? Not that I could actually reach her anyway, yep. Okay, so now I can maybe reach Hero? Or almost reach Hero? Yep. Uh, I'm stuck in a loop. Your YouTube video is currently out of function please try again later Beep. oh no there's kill i guess the the when it was pointing north it was just not letting me go south either yeah so he is down here but i can't get to him either I can actually get it to point south i thought i don't know exactly what it would do or if that really matters oh hey 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 Now what? Oh boy, here we go again. Just keep an eye out for things. Deeper. God, I thought I was done with the static. Apparently not. Hello there. What the hell? It's a statue and that's the back of the statue. And it looks like it's like the front of the statue, but the face is all fucked up or his hair is down. Who is that? Oh, is it is it Mari? It's really hard to tell. Again, with the static and the coloring. I think it is. Yeah, I think it's Mari. I think it's Mari with a, he with a head injury. Yeah. Everything points to that, doesn't it? Room is getting darker. Holy shit. Am I finding another fucked up Mari head in here? Oh my God, I can't see anything. Brother, I'm so glad you're here. Uh-oh. I can't see it. It's just a blob. I can't. It's too dark. I have a distinct feeling it's probably her with a really nasty head injury. Is there a light switch in here? Hmm. I can't seem to uh, trigger anything. Oh, God. <gasps> the door is locked. What the hell? Wait, I've got a... Oh, wait, no, I don't. Sorry, that was in the other save file. I don't have it anymore. The key, maybe, that would have gotten in there. Probably not, though. All right, I think I'm uh, done here. All right. Oh, my God. Floating Red Sun's heads. I got a mirror. Yeah, eat that shit. Boom. Oh, that didn't do anything to me. I don't see anything else currently. Grab the key. Uh, oh, wait, wait. Uh, there's a bloody Mori. Gotta get to it. Don't let the hands get you. Bloodier Mori. Ugh. It's making the room darker, too. Fuck! Gotta catch them all, guys. Gotta catch them all. Oh, wait, I can actually get the mirrors without grab before I grab the key. Yeah. Blood. Blood for blood. Hmm. 
Oh, it starts from blue. Yep. The darkness is taking taking me. Oh fuck. Is it hurting me? I don't know. Blah, blah, ah, Demon Amar. Or Demon Mar is back again. But like for some reason she has no legs or arms either. Kill me. Do it right here. What are you doing, bitch? Uh, all right. Take me out of here. This is the final door. No, I think we still have. No, I think we, see, I think we seemingly have three more. Uh. Hey, what's up? For so long, you kept the truth shut out. But something made it slip. In the hole that it made, it won't stop spreading until you find the root of it all. The one that has seen the truth. Will you guide me to him, Sonny? It's like a phone ringing. Oh, it is. Sonny, we're moving away. Moving away to get away from that place. Uh, okay. I don't see anything new. Oh, God. Two more, I think. Oh, my God. Everybody's severed bodies. As well as Mari's severed head. Mari is here. Yes, she is. And also here. Aubrey. Kel is here. Hey, what's up? What's up, Mari? I'm just hanging out, you know, dude. Basil's here. Wake the fuck up, Basil. Hero is here. And we have uh, done a full loop. Okay, now what? Got another key. Ah! Okay, I didn't see anything else there. Okay, I think this might be the last door. Aside from the red door. <gasps> We're back here! Or a version of it. Cat shaped hole. Burr, burr, burr. Amor, you're here! Oh, I'm so relieved. I tried to find my way out, but I kept getting lost over and over. I'm sorry. You must be tired of saving me all the time. Maybe I should have tried harder. Anyway, everything is fine now that you're here. Let's go home. Oh boy. Can we get out this time? No spiders or darkness or elevators or whatever. Let's go down the slide, Mamar. No! Don't go down the slide, Basil! Whole time I've been here, I've been looking through my photo album to keep me company. When I was feeling scared, I would look at all our happy memories together. It really helped keep my hopes up. Feels like there's some photos missing, but maybe I'm just imagining things. How are Aubrey, Kel, and Hero anyway? I don't know. I think they're dead. Hope y'all didn't worry too much about me. I can't wait to see everyone again. They don't remember you. Can't pick anything up. Oh! Hero? Is that you? Mori, look, it's Hero! He's got a knife! You didn't tell me everyone was already here. Oh! Uh-oh, starting to, get, starting to get fucked up here. Glitches are coming in. There's chicken. There's roast chicken out there. Ah, the glitches are everywhere. Oh, I got around my ear. Ah, ah, slightly off pitch. <gasps> Basil, stop. That'd be funny if this fish sang me a song. He's like, hey, what's up? Are y'all on an ass trip? Yeah, boy, you're gonna die today. Kel, Aubrey, it's so good to see you guys. How have you been? Did you miss me? <laughs> Wait, what? What are you guys doing? Oh, fuck, no. Let's kill all the ball. He's about to toss it. I think I see the cat back there, and he looks all fucking coked up. Ow! Basil! No! Amari! Oh my god! Oh! 
Yeah, bears. Ah, poking the poking the giblets. Blah, blah, blah. Mm. Good job, guys. Man, oh my God! Look at his face. Abrash gets what she wants. Yeah, yeah. I am more we're hoping you come by soon. Wanna play cards with us? So we are just about to start another game. Kel and Aubrey have been fighting a lot again. Huh, I actually look the, I look the least creepy out of everybody. Just because I didn't help do I didn't help kill them. I'm not a killer. Look at me. You would think you're tired of them after all, but they're both just so full of energy. Hey! <laughs> what about you, coked up cat? Uh, what do you have to say about this? Oh, what is going to happen? Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh. It's like just occasionally it just gets really off key. Die, Basil. I'll see you in hell. Well, I guess I'll just, uh, peace out, bitches. Oh, I can't even actually go back the way I came. The path is blocked. Ah, any more doors in here? Can't seem to do anything else. I will seem to be any more doors. All right. Now what? A statue of a religious figure. It feels as if it is judging you. A hard frozen stick. Would you like to eat some? Sure, that didn't... I mean, it fucked me up last time, but maybe this time. Ah! Very chewy. I don't think I did anything. Oh, I see hands. Frozen and ice. Last key. Hmm. Faces people in the crowd. Pitter patter. Pitter patter. Who are we sending to their grave? Oh fuck! There he is. The darkness exudes from him. Oh, thank goodness you're here, Amori. Thought I was gonna be stuck here forever. Damn it, stop saying that. No, not yet. No, never mind. <laughs> Can't believe you came here to save me. I miss you so much. Yeah. I got you. I got you, bud. And I got your flower crown. It's nice and frozen. Uh-oh. Sonny, you've been running away from the truth for so long. How long will you keep running? I won't let this cycle repeat itself. I... I won't let you leave me, Sonny. Not again. Uh-oh. Uh oh. <gasps> oh, fuck! Am I fighting with Basil? Oh. <gasps> oh, fuck, I'm Sunny! Sunny. If you won't face the truth, then face me. Face the suffering you've caused for the people you love, the pain of knowing what you've lost, and the hatred for being too cowardly to change anything about it. Let those feelings devour you here until your insides rot. Uh-oh. <gasps> I'm Sonny! I am Sonny! He's looking at me! He's looking at me with the demon eyes. I can't run. Calm down, Sonny. It's not as scary as you think it is. Ah! You try to calm down, but your lungs fought to breathe. Fuck! Sonny, all those times I reached out to you, why didn't you answer? Oh, fuck it. 
Focus. No, <laughs> just need to focus. It's easy. <laughs> you try to focus, but nausea over one. <laughs> you promised me that we'd face this together, but you left me all alone. Hey, is this the, the name of the enemy? Is Stranger. <laughs> you try to persist, but you couldn't hold steady. Damn it, I'm all out of skills now. Die! Die, you missile! Tax did nothing. If we can't face it together, at least we can be together here. Ah! Ah! Sonny, I'll trap you down here with me forever. Ow, strangles me! Ow! Lost all my juice and health. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh my god, I'm running it, Sonny. That's a first. Mom never lets me run in the house. Boy, the goop. Ah, oh, my brain. <laughs> Gotta push through it. What the fuck is that thing? It was like the halves of my friend or something. Uh, uh. It's fucking. Stairs. The hands are a bridge. Uh, I'm crawling. Uh, uh, come on. Come on, Sonny. Uh oh. All out of stairs. What in the fuck? The hands of fate. <gasps> oh, Amori's coming to me, Sonny. Come, we should become one. So you've chosen to live that way. I wonder, can you really call that living? Leave me here. There's no hope left for me. Amari, Amari, wake up! There's light coming from the ceiling. Do you think it's a way out? Amari, you're so heavy. Oh my God. Basil, you're saving me. Come on, up the stairs you go. Um, Amari? You think it is you're awake? Are you hurt at all? I was trying to pull you toward this white light at the top of the staircase. I got a really nice and warm feeling from it. Let's go up together. Ah, interesting. To the light, out of the darkness, out of black space. You were my friend's hands. Ah, ah, 
Ascending. I see the top of Basil's head. So the sound of the deep, deep well. Oh, I'm actually going through all the backgrounds I think I saw before. Each level and layer of black space. I think this is the final layer here. Oh, oh, back to the water area. Yep, now we're back in deeper well. Keep going. Oh. Almost there. Back here. Goodbye, hands. Everybody's sleeping. Basil's getting into bed. And so am I. Ah, oh, God, what the fuck? Mari, come on! Yes, I swear to God. Just, just let me play on the fucking swing set, you, you bitch. You, you, ah, fuck. Mars is not. I'll always be there to protect you, little brother. Who wants a group hug? You guys have weird dreams. Let's go on an adventure, Mori. Just. Oops, the two of us. Couldn't rest out, no, Mori. All our friends are here. Yay. Fruit basket. V basket always full. Oh my god. Mr. Kitty, I see you. Mr. Kitty, watch this from above. Sleep, little one. You are safe with me. You are no longer waiting for something to happen. Save at my picnic basket. Do 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 do. Neighbor's bedroom. Sleep, little one. Sleep. Oh, all the plants are in here too. Time to sleep. In my own little world. Cause fuck the rest of the world, right? One day left. Oh, I'm actually back as Sunny. I am actually coming back as Sunny. Ah! Hey, what's up? Uh, hello? Are you supposed to be there? You have a new message. Hey, Sonny, it's Mommy. Tomorrow's the big day. Movers will be here first thing tomorrow morning. Yeah, so that's when we're moving. Gotcha. I gave the keys, so don't forget if you see them. Remember to finish organizing your things today. I'll be picking you up in my car out front. Just come outside when you're ready. Okay, that's it for now. Mommy loves you. Bye, honey. <laughs> wait, wait, so she's going to wait out for me in the car? What the hell? I'm just going to come in and take it, but... I'm not going to come in and meet you. I gotta, you got to wait for you to come out to me. Thanks, Mom. Great parenting. Wanna play blackjack? No, I'm good. Two list. Today's your chores to organize your old belongings. No. Oh my god. Oh, he just follows me everywhere now. Something. Oh. <gasps> oh shit. Oh my god. Look. I look in the mirror, and I'm a Mori. I've got a tank top on. When I look in the mirror, I don't see Sonny anymore. Sonny's dead. It's just me now. And that darkness lingers. It still says Sonny here, though. <gasps> what? I can still stab? Uh-oh. Don't know if there's any leaving this area. What are my skills? I still have the same thing. Oh god. What happens? Uh 
Oh, fuck. Is that just like an ending or something? I think it is. And the darkness watches as I slowly die. Ow. Fuck. Oh, fuck. Yep. Game director Oma Cat. I see Nessie. Ah, oh, yes, Yen Fly. Oh, the God, the Opera Maker programming God. Oh, the phone's ringing. It's 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 his mom, right? Probably calling to tell him to, to tell him to to pick him up, to pick him up, right? I actually recognize some of these people in here. Oh my God, I actually recognize a lot of people in here. People I remember from the uh, from the RPG Maker community. They clearly are still around and contributing. Damn. Just. Phone to have a fucking answer machine or some shit, Jesus. Mom, just come in the house, Jesus. And we're back. Interesting, I didn't actually get like an achievement or anything for that. I mean, you died. You stabbed yourself. Achievement. Maybe that would have been a little uh uh not very tactful. I just kind of imagine that was considered an ending, right? I almost wonder, oh, is that, I wonder if that's something that's only possible in the Hikikomori route, you know? It is kind of interesting just how they let you, like how you, you do that as a way to get out of the, uh, the headspace, right? To get back to the real world. So it's sort of like this, this weird disconnect sort of becomes, it becomes easier to do, right? Just so we don't end on a completely sour note. Uh, hey, look, we're fine. <laughs> don't worry, that didn't happen. Mori or Sunny is still fine. Damn, man. Wow, that was a, that was definitely a darker episode. There was a lot of, there was a lot of dank, I guess, lore. Some of the, the spots there when we were delving down. Um, a lot of it was pretty, uh, oh wait, who put this picture back up? That fell down earlier. Um, enigmatic and how it was displayed. But I think by this point, it's fairly clear. I think what happened to Mari, I, I think, I think she did. She had an accident. I think she hit her head or snapped her neck or something, something that really injured her, messed her up. And that's just like the thoughts that, that Sunny is suppressing. And I think it's very distinct, a very distinct possibility too that Basil might've like committed suicide. Um, and maybe that is also why he's like the darkness that haunts Sunny. I don't know, that's kind of one of my theory right now. But we still have a bit more. Um, we still got one day left. And for what I've just heard, and just again, non-spoiler ways, that this is sort of something that is very unique to this route to Hikikomori. So we'll uh, have to check that out next time. Uh, anyway, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this episode and hopefully appreciate some of the uh, deep lore diving, quite literally. So we went deeper into the earth and got so much static. Holy shit. I hope to God that footage is, is actually viewable. Uh, if you did, please leave a like and a favorite. It really does help me out. And subscribe if you're not already become Piggy Penguin. Aboard the SLP, where the days are always sunny and the vids are always funny. And as always, guys, till next time, stay classy.